Welcome back to Movies TV Mad. Of course, you can follow me on Twitter at Movies TV Mad. And on this video, I am going to review the full theme of Matt Reeves' The Batman, the full musical theme of Matt Reeves' The Batman by the musical maestro that is Michael Giacchino. Then after that, we are going to react to the confirmation that Matt Reeves' The Batman's runtime is around two hours 55 minutes the end credits is eight minutes long as well we will talk about that a lot something i confirmed having already seen the movie uh, some people believe that some people didn't believe that some people believe i've seen the movie some people don't i can confirm i have seen the movie you're just gonna have to trust me on that and you saw my reactions and we're going to be talking about this movie every day until it's released then we're going to review it non-spoilery then spoilery Spoilery. We're going to be feeding off this movie for a very long time because it's a historical moment for DC Comics, for comic book adaptions, for DC and WB who have had such a hard time. This movie puts them back on the map. The multiverse strategy, the Flash movie, Black Adam, Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom, the Batgirl movie, all this puts them back on the map. I can assure you of that. So what did I make? of Michael Giacchino's The Batman theme. Of course, I love it. And I'm sure, oh, I, I know, I'm, I don't need to be sure. I know for sure that you lot are loving it too. So I love how it comes in with that kind of dark edge. But then very quickly, a few seconds later, it has a soft emotional center reminiscent to John Williams' Superman the movie. And you're saying, well, hang on a minute, a minute Mick. It doesn't sound nothing like that theme. But the intention's the same. If you think about Superman the movie, the theme by John Williams, the iconic theme by uh, John Williams, it's... And then in the middle, it's the kind of Lois and Clark kind of emotional romantic theme. Don't forget, Elements of the Batman is a love story. I can confirm that to you. The love story of Selina and Bruce Wayne is a big part of this movie and it's done so well. So anyway, we have we start with this dark edge to the musical theme um, by Michael Giacchino and then we get this soft center, but then it finishes with a triumphant dark edge. And I really loved that about the theme. I thought it was absolutely fantastic and I've been having it on repeat while I had a shave and a shower and that takes a while because I'm a bit of an old tart if you like and yeah, a brilliant piece of music starts dark then has that soft romantic center if you like and then you know finishes off with a celebratory kind of really triumphant dark edge and i really like that about the music now moving away from the batman theme which is absolutely fantastic wait till you hear the rest of the soundtrack but let's talk about confirmation that the batman will be around two hours and 55 minutes long Already said, knew that already, told you that a couple of days ago. It was true. Rumours about this have been happening for months and months. Nobody knew if, if it was BS. I kind of had the suspicion that it was true even before I saw the movie. But yeah, the movie is around two hours and 50 minutes long. 51, 52 minutes long. But there is an, also an extended end credits roll of around eight minutes that, yes, I did sit through. And... If I were you, I'd sit through it. You want to read all the names off in your head, silently in your head, of course, otherwise they'll cut you off to the funny farm of everyone who's put together this masterpiece. So what does this extended length of this movie mean? Only the Snyder Cut is longer in terms of comic book movies. Well, the length, look, you don't have to have a three hour epic movie, by the way. You can have a one hour and 10 minute movie. It doesn't affect me. For example, you know, sometimes having a three hour movie works and sometimes it doesn't work. For example, Avengers Endgame is around three hours. That movie was only three hours so they could hype it up as three hours. That movie drags for a long time. That movie never had to be three hours long. But this movie, The Batman, it's, you know, it's length of nearly three hours gives the film time to breathe like the Snyder Cut, 
which is really, really important for the Batman because there's a lot to do in this film. And Matt Reeves obviously had a lot to say about Batman in The Batman, and he says it so well. So the length of the movie is important, and I'll explain to you why. It's important, let me just cough, <clears throat> it's important because ultimately there's a lot of character development in this film. Not just Bruce Wayne the Batman, not just Selina Kyle, but the romantic kind of element and kind of the bonding of this friendship and relationship between Selina and Bruce. The, char the character dynamic between Bruce and Alfred. Alfred is very well developed in this movie. We haven't really spoken about Jim Gordon, who is also really played so well by Wright. But that character is fleshed out because that's very important for what we see in the HBO Max streaming show Gotham PD. So it's all set up beautifully well and all the characters are fleshed out. This is why having this film at almost three hours is very, very important. And I think it works in terms of character development. But don't forget, this is the first movie. What he does very reminiscently to what Donna did in Superman the movie he takes time to set up this universe, this Earth 2. In Superman the movie, we spend, what, 10, 20 minutes on Krypton. Then we go to Smallville, another 10, 20 minutes. Then Metropolis, where the major part of the film takes place. It's very similar here where he takes his time to, you know, flesh out this world, for out this world, to set it up. And what I like, moving away just for a split second for the running time of the movie... I think it's important because I've I've seen all the Batman TV shows and the movies and none of them for me really show you kind of what it would be like. Does it feel like, you know, to live in such a corrupt city where you could be killed at any time, where it's dangerous, where you're scared to leave your front door? And, you know, a place like this needs someone like Batman to help the police because even the police are slightly corrupt, as we already know from the comic books, the Gotham TV series and other kind of live action media. Um, but what Matt Reeves does so much better than Nolan did, than Burton did, and I love what Nolan and Burton did and what Snyder did, it really depicts Gotham City as this dangerous, corrupt place. And you feel it at its epicentre that it is a dangerous, corrupt place. The other live action entries have never really been able to capture it. Like they didn't really want to bother to capture that element of Gotham City and what Batman is up against and how dangerous these people are. Also, what I love about the Batman is that you really, really feel that it's not just Batman physically they're scared of. But they're scared of Batman psychologically. And again, that's something from the origins of the comics. The idea of the Batman is absolutely frightening. Because if the Batman comes for you, he will never stop until he gets you. Go back to the trailer, because obviously you lot have seen the trailers, but you haven't had the privilege like I have to see the actual movie. When he's chasing after, is it, I can't, I've already forgotten, I think it's the Penguin. And he's chasing the penguin and the penguin thinks he's got away, but he gets him. If you remember that part of the trailer, uh, yeah, that's what this Batman is. And this is the core of Batman as a character within the comics. He will never stop until he's got you. He will never stop until he accomplishes his mission. He is determined. He is, you know, uh, uh, you know, he is this kind of hero of the night and he will never stop until he accomplishes his mission and i think this is the beauty of the almost three hour runtime i think what you're gonna see here is something you haven't seen before this is why this film is so anticipated and everyone is so excited you know <clears throat> excuse me again but it's very exciting to think that the most anticipated film of the year is coming up in March. What does this do for other movies? For Well, us DC fans are really going to eat and drink really, really well this year. I've already listed the stuff that we've got. Uh, so, you know, it's huge. We're, you know, But I don't think it's going to be easy for this other DC stuff, let alone the MCU stuff, to capture 
what the Batman's going to capture. As I say, we're going to be feeding off this movie for years to come. It's a modern day classic and there's so much more to discuss in terms of this movie. This has been Movies TV Mad. I'm Mick, your host with the most. Just ask your girlfriends and your wives. Like, comment, subscribe. Please hit the notification bell so you never miss this perfection. And I'll see you again in the next video. Until then, goodbye, au revoir, auf Wiedersehen.